second inning. Yeah, no, no question how good it, Gossman's stuff is. Too. Weak ground ball to second, and the second baseman, Negrich, trying to avoid the runner. The ball goes by him, the infield umpire. Kelvin Boltron signaling no interference, and all the way around to third goes Robinson. Everybody is safe on the play, and manager Marty Brown comes out now to argue. Well, Negrich came in. Trayvon Robinson interfered, or played umpire. Travis Carlson tried to kind of get in between to get Marty Brown leading off the field, and Marty Brown actually made a little bit of contact with Travis Carlson after Calvin Boltron ejected him. And now Marty Brown, the manager, is going to sit down in the infield, toss away his helmet. He says he doesn't want to leave. He's going to put his arms back, cross his legs, and sit down like he's going to work on his suntan on the infield. There's some performance here. The umpires are going to try to walk away from him, not let him grab the stage any more than he already has. This will end up costing Marty Brown something. Yeah. The league will not put up with this. The Tides are going to have runners at first and third base with only one out in the inning at the top of the order coming up. And Marty Brown still sitting down in the infield. <laughs> now he throws away. I'm sure that's his sunglasses or something he just threw up in the air. It still continues barking at the man that didn't make the call that he wanted. It. Crew chief Kelvin Boltron. Now Marty Brown is up, starts to walk away, kicks his batting helmet across the foul line. Comes over, flips it up with a foot in the air and catches it. And now begins to make his way <laughs> off the field. What a performance. I think he's just glad to get that old-timey uniform off. So Marty Brown will have to head down the tunnel way into the clubhouse. That win is a hit then. The center 